As the majority of y'all already know, Spiel Update 8 is officially releasing today, June 18, sometime in the evening or the afternoon. It has been a very, very long wait, and with the little, little things showed along the way that may have slipped some of y'all minds. So in today's video, I'll be recapping every time we confirm coming this update, along with a few speculations on things that could come as well. Starting off with a recap on all the fruits that we know are dropping for sure, this update will have the most fruits ever drop at once, all ranging from common to mythical. According to Fuyu's channel, four new fruits are being released as long as an upgrade of a current fruit, the heal fruit being the lowest ranking fruit with only a mere three moves, so it's safe to assume this fruit is probably going to be a common. And then we're also getting spring, which has six skills, it's more of a PvP based fruit. It has very fast moves, and my guess is going to be a rare or an epic. Second gear Gomu, which now doubles Gomu's moveset to 12 skills, is still unknown as to how gear second will be acquired, but my guess is probably going to be through some sort of mission that you're going to have to do, and as a reward you'll unlock gear 2. Venom is also getting dropped, and it has a total of 10 skills plus a transformation, and I think it's safe to say it'll be no lower than a legendary. I personally think it's going to be a mythical, but I have no clue. And finally, the last fruit we're getting is Ope, which has 10 skills just like Venom, including the Surgeon mode, which switches out some of its moves. It's projected to be a legendary or higher, just like Venom. I think it's probably going to be a legendary. I think Venom is probably going to be higher than Ope, or they're going to be ranked about the same. For a more in-depth analysis of these fruits, please check out this video. The link is going to be in the description. In this video, I'll talk about the fruits a lot more and go a little bit more into detail. Along with all these fruits, we're also getting the Sabro Grace, which has its own moveset and fighting style, equipped with some insanely flashy moves. We can expect Sabro to be the rarest race, and might even receive a class of its own above Fishman and Mink, and might be like a 1%, like how Fishman and Mink are both 5%, Sabro might be above them. But it's also stated that the colors of your attacks and like your actual race can be changed, so you can choose whatever color you like, which I think is pretty neat. So it's in your best interest to probably save up on your race rules now because you're going to need them for sale. The update is probably going to drop today if Fully doesn't sell, but a code will be dropping on the update with around 20 to 50 race rules. So you're in luck if you haven't been saving. Hopefully that, <laughs> that gets you somewhere, but you should probably start saving your race rules. The only weapons that have been sneaked to the public so far are Lost Sword Kiku and the sword from one of the wardens in Impel Down. I don't know what his name is, but he had the dual bladed sword. We know this update's about Dress Rosa, so I doubt his sword is going to be released because that's Impel Down. So it's going to be released in part two, most likely. Kiku did receive his own showcase video with a moveset of four moves, but two of those four could only be used if you have the OP fruit consumed. So it's in your best interest to have OP if you're going to use this sword. All the showcases talked about in this video will be linked in the description. If you want to go watch them and check them out for yourself, scroll down and check the description. A new game mode will be introduced coming this update, which we can assume will be linked to the factory in Dressrosa, because we were sneaked a screenshot saying the factory was open, defeat the scientist, and destroy the slime core before the lava fills up. On May 25th, another screenshot that showed a mass swarm of NPCs attacking players in an arena slash coliseum. So this could potentially mean that there's going to be two game modes, the factory and the arena, but the more rational thought would be that they're linked in some sort of way, that like you have to destroy the factory and then defeat the mobs in the arena or the other way around. We don't know. These could be different, but I think it's going to be the same. To close, I want to talk about this screenshot that Foley recently posted in the Discord. It appears to be a large electric discharge being shot out of hands. This attack closely resembles one of Mink Fighting Style's moves, Electro Luna. The skill sends forth an electric charge on a much lesser scale than the one in the screenshot. Both attacks release in the same way and in the same position, so with all things considered, this points at this attack being Sulong. It might be Sulong Fighting Style. Hear me out, in the past, there's been a vote for a new Fighting Style in Dragon Claw 1. As we know, Dragon Claw has been added to the game, but Sulong did come second and not by too far. And I remember a lot of people were quite upset that Sulong didn't win. A lot of people wanted Sulong to be added to the game. So it's not too crazy to assume that this attack 
could be a part of Soon Long's fighting style moveset. I think that covers everything dropping in update 8. If I missed anything, feel free to share in the comments and let everyone know. I will be streaming this update later when it comes out, so make sure you guys tune in. Have a blessed day, and I'm going to catch you on the next one.